what an honor to speak to this phenomenal woman today. She has firsthand experience of the racism and white supremacy that has happened here in this state, in this country. She lost her husband to an assassin's bullet while he was fighting for equality, and she has dedicated her own life to that same equality and tells me that she is overjoyed at this moment. His wings would be flapping <laughs> in joy. Civil rights activist Merle Evers Williams says that would be the reaction her husband Medgar would have to Mississippi's now former flag being relegated to history. It's always been a symbol of uh, racial uh, hatred, and I know that's a pretty strong word, but I will use it here. Evers Williams says if Medgar had lived, he would have pushed to retire the flag. This moment is emotional for her. And I never thought that I would see that happen within my lifetime. I was overwhelmed by the news. All I could do was weep. Merle Evers Williams no is 85 years old and a native of Vicksburg. I asked her what she thinks the next flag should look like. State of Mississippi in a state, S-T-A-T-E, of solidarity. It's about time. It's long overdue. The flag comes down as America reckons with its difficult history. There is a renewed call for change that's being led by young people. Evers Williams says that's exactly what Medgar would have wanted. Right on. <laughs> right on. Move forward. Let your shines show what you feel. She also encourages the youth to take that energy to the polls in November and vote. Medgar Evers would have been 95 years old Thursday had he not been cut down by an assassin's bullet here in Jackson in 1963. Murley says he had a vision for this country and was willing to put his life on the line to see it through. Man lives in my heart and in my memory every day of my life. I think Medgar would just be so proud. I know he is proud of what is happening in the state of Mississippi. And you know what? I can't believe I'm saying this, but so am I. Very powerful words for that woman this evening. And Mrs. Evers Williams says to those who are opposed to the flag change here in the state at this moment, she says it presents an opportunity to look hard at where we are in this country on the issue of race. And do we move forward or backward? That's the question, she says. She says believe, she believes that America is on a move forward into the future. Reporting from home tonight, Troy Johnson, 16 WAPT News.